Giles, thank you for joining me for the Green Swans Observatory to talk about regeneration. First, I would love you to introduce yourself and, and tell me a little bit about how you came to, to regeneration and the amazing work you're doing with regenerative leadership. Thank you, Louise, and thank you for inviting me here. Um, yeah, well, regenerative has been a passion of mine pretty much all my life. Um, I had a deep sense of connection with nature as a child and vowed to go into business to try and see if I could help business become a force for good in the world. But it wasn't really until much later, back in about 2008, when I set up Biomimicry for Creative Innovation with a couple of others, um, Biomimicry Specialists. So I started getting really, I started sort of looking at what does this connection to nature mean? Why have we kind of lost that sense? And how can we bring that into business? Just for those who don't know, will you just define what do you think of as firstly Biomimicry and then secondly, Living Systems? Yeah, sure. So essentially, we are used to, we've been programmed to think in terms of a very narrow focus. Um, so we break things down into parts and our management theory is based on that at the moment. Um, and so what living systems thinking does is um, bring in our right hemisphere as well as our left hemisphere, bring in our heart as well as our head, bring in different faculties that allow us to start seeing how life works, which is the relationships of how life really works. And so we can apply that to how nature works, um, understanding that it's not just sort of red in tooth and claw and hyper competitive, but actually that it's full of relationality. Um, and that's facilitation ecology and areas like that that all stimulate biomimicry, which is just looking at nature's patterns and applying that to our human systems and product design and circular economics. Um, and then in living systems thinking, we can also apply that way of understanding how life works, the interconnections of life, to our organisations. So that we see our organisations not as machines um, with externalities that need to be managed and controlled, but actually as living systems that are interconnected to their customers, to their suppliers, to their wider ecosystem. And then we can start looking at how does it therefore become life affirming? How does it actually enhance life rather than undermine life? Tell me a little bit about what, what is regenerative leadership? How is it different? So let me start with regenerative and then I'll talk about regenerative uh, business and leadership and how they kind of flow from each other. So I think uh, regenerative, for me at least, uh, is about um, how do we enrich life? How do we work with life? So it's recognising that life itself has its own emergent and evolutionary dynamics. That's how life works. So opening ourselves up to how life works enables us to flow with life. And that's really what regenerative is, working with life, being life affirming. And it reminds me of the ancient quote from Lao Tzu, those who know how nature flows know they need no other force. So, you know, it's flowing as life flows. That's regenerative. So regenerative mm -hmm. business is essentially about how do we enrich ourselves? How do we enrich the organization, allow the organization to flourish in times of increased volatility? And how do we allow that organization to help its customers, its suppliers, its partners to flourish so that all of the ecosystem is life affirming. So that's regenerative business. So it's a bit more than net positive, but it, is an, it, it, it moves on from net positive. It's very much part of that theme. Um, and it has an inner and an outer dynamic. So the inner being the culture and the outer being how do we look at our value propositions and our services and products to our customers. So you've got regenerative, you've got regenerative business, and then you've got regenerative leadership, which is the quality of leadership that we need to bring to enable regenerative business. And so for me, that really, that regenerative leadership is a quality of consciousness. It's a shift in consciousness from that narrow perspective, from that reductive perspective, into a widening systemic perspective. And it really is as simple as that. It's just a shift in awareness. Now, I say it's simple. It's not necessarily easy because in doing that shift, we come up against all of the habituations and constrictions that we have been educated and trained in. So we have to go through a process of crossing a threshold. And that's what regenerative leadership involves. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much, Giles. It's been a pleasure and I'm so much wisdom um, that lots of people will learn from, I'm sure. Thank you.